Hey guys, it's Sharon from Digital Nomad Quest, and today we're gonna to talk about how to spend your time during quarantine. Now, if you guys are new to this channel, welcome, and I'm all about teaching you how to build passive income, become financially free, and design your best lives. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of my latest videos. So we have been in quarantine for over a month at least. So in California, I believe we started in mid-March. I think the numbers have not decreased enough where we're like feeling better about things. We're gonna be in quarantine for a while, I feel like. I just wanna talk about how to spend your time during quarantine because I know some of y'all are going crazy and trying to figure out how to stay sane during this time. I wanna talk about how we can be effective during this time because I think we can use this as an opportunity to sort of grow faster because we are kind of stuck in one place where we don't have as many distractions, we don't have as many choices. We can use that to our advantage at this current moment. We can't control these things that are happening outside, but there are certain things we can manage and control a little bit more. So that's what we're gonna talk about about today. So first tip is I think we should try to learn new skills during this time. So right now, for example, I am learning Spanish currently, but when it comes to financial gains, I think that we can spend that time learning how to build our earning capabilities. So for example, my boyfriend is building up his coding skills currently, and there are plenty of courses out there that teach you a lot of things. Like you can search on platforms like Udemy, Coursera, Skillshare, LinkedIn Learning, and obviously there are courses hosted by Teachable and platforms like that on different sites and things like that. One thing is you can check out my course on the Etsy Entrepreneur if you are trying to learn how to build passive income businesses and grow your skills in building an online business. I'll link all of these resources down below, including those course platforms and my own course. But one thing I saw on my Facebook feed was someone saying that if you don't come out of this quarantine growing or building a new skill or something, you just lack discipline. And I noticed I started getting a bit of anxiety after kind of reading that. It was good, but also bad. It was good in a way where I felt motivated and I started actually working on a lot of things like not only am I learning Spanish I'm also learning little things around SEO and building up my courses and ads and things like that with my website so I'm learning multiple things but I'm also putting a lot of pressure on myself with after reading that quote and I feel like we also need to practice self-care we need to make sure we're not just beating ourselves up thinking we need to hustle our asses off just because we have this time we also want to make sure we take care of ourselves during this time. So number two, I would say self-care. So when I say self-care, I say developing strong habits. Basically, meditating in the morning is a good idea. So uh, 10 minute meditation, that's all you need, five to 10 minutes, and you can start your day with more mindfulness and making sure you exercise. So I have a problem where sometimes I forget to leave the house. Like I'm in, I'm in my room all the time, but you can go on walks as long as you're not, you know, going into crowds or anything like that. You just make sure you're taking care of yourself in terms of getting that sunlight, getting that exercise. So I'm trying to do more runs outside and getting that vitamin D. Other habits include reading. It's a good idea to read a little bit before you sleep so that you can kind of wind yourself down and then get a good night's sleep. Make sure you have kind of a schedule so your body doesn't get confused. Uh, drink enough water, all these things that'll help take care of yourself. And one thing I notice is because we're cooking a lot more, I'm eating healthier, which is nice because I normally get a decent amount of fast food, but lately I am not doing that at all I'm eating healthier all of these things will eventually help you with kind of your physical health your mental health and your emotional health so you want to prioritize that self-care number three when it comes to your finances so in my previous video I talked about sort of how to spend your stimulus check and we talk about different things you can do to take care of your finances one of the things you can easily do is sell your stuff online I'm sure you have a ton of old stuff lying around so you can check out sites and apps like Poshmark Mercari eBay, Let Go, Amazon. These are all places you can use to sell your old stuff. You can use Craigslist, but I would probably try to mail out the products versus meet up with them locally just because of the way things are right now. It's a good idea to start getting rid of your stuff and cleaning your stuff, doing the whole Marie Kondo thing because it can lead for a happier minimalistic life where you're not thinking about getting more goods, you're not distracted by too many things, you're getting to the essentials and you can really do that by selling your stuff and obviously you can make a bit of money just doing that. Number four, I would say invest and build passive income businesses. So during this time, it's a great time to start looking into how you can build up those side hustles, how you can start investing in stocks, maybe real estate. If your financial situation's not there yet, maybe not, maybe hold off on those things. Those might be things you do later after you take care of your debt, you take care of your essential needs and your bills and things like that. But I would say that passive income businesses, especially though, are a good thing 
because it's not as much risk as investing, but it's, and then it's a great way to start building that cash flow to really cover your expenses so that you have multiple ways of making money to make your life less stressful and you can make sure that you're covering all your needs. And lastly, I really advocate spending time with your loved ones. So currently, if you're living with roommates, if you're living with family, it's a great way to start connecting with them. You know, put down your phone, play board games with them, hang out with them. One thing I've been doing with my friends is I play like video games with them, like Overwatch and things like that, where we can talk on Discord and we can really bond by doing an activity together like these video games. So that's an easy way to make it kind of stress-free and just like play games with friends. I would also make sure to FaceTime your loved ones during this time, make sure everyone's okay, spend some time, you know, hanging out with them because what I've noticed is, yes, the in-person, obviously the IRL is better in terms of developing those meaningful connections, but we can still use Zoom and things like that to actually stay connected with people and it's not as bad as we would think. So you gotta make sure you're keeping those friendships alive, those relationships healthy, and spend time with your loved ones because what I've noticed during this time is that health and your relationships are honestly the most important things in life. And during these crazy times, it really kind of highlights that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this list of things to do during quarantine that I feel like can really level yourself up. Like if you're being good about your health, your relationships, it could be a really good time right now to start growing those skills, start building that income through different income streams. It's a great time to kind of put your head down and like work because of all this craziness because we don't have the choice of just leaving when we want to. So if you guys like this video, let me know in the comments below which kind of action item are you guys currently doing or want to do in the future based on this video. And make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of my latest videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.